What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here to take a look at a new car coming to a set of Corsa. So the footage you guys are watching are back from the Forza 7 days when I was practicing for ESDA and driver search prep in that C5 Corvette TUS Springer, who is no longer TUS Springer, but still a good friend of mine. So we were on here in the C5 vet. You guys know how much time I spent actually in this C5 vet drifting it and getting comfortable with it. It was a car I used all the time and every time I was behind the wheel of it I got more and more comfortable. So it was a lot of fun but when I moved to a set of Corsa it was unfortunately that there was never a C5 vet but until today I was searching through Instagram and came across Team JSI's Instagram page which sent me to JSI Ueno's page and there is a link for Cleese's C5 Vet in a set of Corsa. So you know we're going to be definitely taking a look at that car today because I was so comfortable in that C5. Let's see what other clips we got from this video running some tandem practice I think. Yep, yeah I think I was leading. I think I was leading Ranga here in his Volvo. So you guys know I spent so much time in C5 Vet so big thank you to the, you know, the JSI guys for that C5 Vet. Cleese's C5. We're going to be taking a look at first impressions on it in a set of Corsa. How it sits. We may make some changes to it later on and stuff like that. But make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have you found in the description box below. If you guys also remember, I did take this vet and got to tandem with some of the JSA, JSI guys and the usual suspects guys. So it kind of came full circle. Glad to see it in a set of Corsa now. So let's get to it. Let's hop into a set of Corsa. Take a look at that C5 vet and see what we can do. So, like I said, here is the C5 Cletus C5 Drift Vet. So, at first look at it, it looks amazing. Definitely going to have to add a cage and stuff like that. You got, you know, the JSI just send it on the back. So, there's a few things on there that I did notice that the, you know, it has an energy quick release, which is kind of cool. At, you know, being sponsored by Energy Innovations, definitely a fun thing. So, we're going to be ripping this car today. Super excited to have it in the game like i said car i was very comfortable with in forza 7 so hopefully it does its justice here in a set of corsa so let's take a look at what we got it looks like we're at a five or four six it's on world of drift tires street tires i think we're gonna leave it exactly how it sits and just see how this goes oh. does sound pretty good so i do have a different uh tablet screen going on right now I want to get back to my uh, my shift I think this is it my shift one yep that's it this is the one we want one that flashes shift on me so we are here in airport drift track a track that I always bring cars to test them out so the 4.6 is a pretty tall gear set so we may have to change our gear ratios and stuff, but we're just going to go full send, get our first impressions on it, and, you know, like I said, a big thank you to the JSI guys for putting this up there so I could, uh, you know, get back to some of the roots. Oh, so far, so good. It is a little underpowered, I feel like, for some of these bigger sections. Oh, I forgot. That, that tightens up a lot. I think the gear ratio could be adjusted a little bit. But I believe this car only has about 300 and some horsepower from what it looked like. There we go, but it is a monster, surprisingly. This thing is quite fun to drive. The physics of it feels really good. I believe the link to JSI, Uenos, and all their information down in the description box below if you guys want to pick this car up yourself and give it a shot. This car is sick. Transitions are nice and smooth. No handbrake really needed. The weight transfer everything is pretty good on this car. Shut those lights. I just don't think the power is really there for to do the long sweep. Oh, okay, we almost rode off the new drift vet. 
I'm noticing that the handbrake is set so it doesn't lock all the way, which is kind of a, a good thing. But, you know, with a car with a lot more power, you might need a little bit more snappier of a handbrake. Things that are easy... Oh, I gotta recalibrate my shifter. That should be in fourth. Oh, boy. Oh, God. All right. Cut this one short. I do like this car. It feels so good to be back here in a C5. So let's go change up track and gear ratio maybe and see stall that out and see if we can rip another track that is very fun to drift so we are going to go to driftland aussie because it is definitely a very cool track and a very fun track and you guys know i spent a lot of time on driftland aussie the gear ratios are really changed so there's different gear sets okay i think we're going to go with the s15 sylvia gear set on a 3.9. Yeah, we're going to go 3.9. We're going to leave everything else the same. Do we have... We do have brake bias and brake power and everything like that. Alright. Oh, we weren't even at 100% power on the old track. I think this thing with some comp tires would be a monster. 4th gear. Send it in. There we go. Yeah, super dialed car. Feels very great. The power band, the way the car reacts, the transitions, and everything feels amazing. Super excited, like I said, to have a C5 in my collection of cars now. Probably going to possibly make some tweaks for myself with some different power bands and, you know, tires and stuff like that. But this car, out of the box. They did a great job on this car. So like I said, I'll leave all the information to get it yourself down in the description box below. And you know we're gonna have to switch this up right now. We're going to uh, give in to the haters. And throw it in first, first person because all the haters saying too much time spent in third. So here we go. Energy quick release, go round and round. There we go. It looks awesome in first person as well. Doesn't need a cage, so maybe adding a cage to this thing is going to be something I'd want to do for a comp style car, but like I said, this is Cletus' C5, so it is replicated off of that. Yep, I like this car a lot. Definitely gonna need to throw some tandems with this car. I have to get my buddies and stuff to download this. Maybe even throw down with some of the JSI guys or the usual suspects guys in this car because this car rips. Run this a little bit shallow. I love the engine sound, it sounds great. There we go. out there try and get all the way out to the wall oh too much too much send so if you guys like this and you guys want to see more videos of this of new cars and stuff like that let me know down in the comment section down below oh just a wall tap successfully tried to not wreck this car in this first episode so Out there yeah there we go it's a smoke show though for sure that in I'm having too much fun with this car it's almost perfect so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which are found in the description box below I think you guys come back and watching this episode here on the new C5F from Forza Motorsport 7 to Santa Corsa. I'm gonna probably have to bring out that usual suspect's livery that I ran 
on my car in Forza. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support. If you want to help support the channel and you like what I do here on the channel, all you got to do is tap that like button and hit subscribe. I would appreciate the support. Bell notifications if you want to be part of the notification gang. So, as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track.